could see our colors maybe and tell us how we can balance <laughs> our lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So let me just say this. So the people understand the basics here. Yeah. I categorize the aura colors into three different family types. There are the physical colors and those are the colors that predominantly process life through their physical bodies, um, through touch and physical bodies. Um, and those are reds, orange, yellow, and magenta. Okay. And then we've got the mental colors. And those are the colors that predominantly process life through analyzing it through data, logic, details. And those are four different kinds of tans and greens. And a lot of people have been raised to think they're supposed to be a mental color and they're not. Okay. So then they're not that happy. And then there are the spiritual emotional colors. And those are blue, violet, indigo, crystal, and lavender. Okay. So, um, um, <laughs> Erica, you're a blue and violet, which is an unusual combination. So you've got two colors in the spiritual emotional family. Okay. And I'll tell you about those colors. And then Lynn, Lynn, you're a spunk because you actually were born blue and yellow, but you got a lot of violet developing in your aura right now. And violets, violets don't always know what to do with that violet, sweetie. Okay. So <laughs> when I get to that, so just briefly, like reds and oranges and, and magentas are very physical. It's all about physical reality. And so are yellows. And Lynn's got some yellow in their aura, in her aura. So yellows, and, and you'll see me jumping around because both of you guys have violet in your aura and violets tend to multitask and they're all over the place. So I have to watch out for that. So um, Lynn, you've got a little bit of yellow in your, I'm sorry, um, Erica, you've yeah. got a little bit of yellow in your outer bands, um, but you were born blue and violet. So I'll get to the blue in just a second. Um, um, Lynn, you got quite a bit of yellow and yellows are spunky, fun, loving, free spirited little kids that if they had their way, wouldn't be working at all. But and I've got yellow too. yellows. We got a stubborn streak to us. OK, yellows. But the thing is, is yellows don't always know what they want to be when they grow up. Yellows want to do some of this and some of this and some of this. And they want freedom and they want variety. So mm -hmm. yellows, if they work, either get into the physical, the, the creative fields, the writers, artists, designers, you know, something creative, which you have in you, um, Lynn, that's been kind of suppressed. You're not being able to do that creative side other than maybe creative ideas. Man, her violet is so scattered. This is so cute. So or yellows get into the healing fields. Okay, they're energy workers, massage, and let's, that's like soma, the soma or soma stuff. Yellows are very much about healers and energy, and they, they can be massage workers or energy workers or um, veterinarians, doctors. They're, they're physical, I mean, healers, or they get into the physical fields like they're yoga instructors or you know, landscape and yellows, by the way, land yellows need to connect with nature. They have to connect with nature. Okay. You guys need to spend some time out going, walking, breathing, being around trees, something that's a very healing for a yellow. So yellows, it's so cute because yellows sip it. A lot of times they want variety and then the, then the other colors can get mad at them. Cause it's like, when are you going to grow up? But unfortunately with Lynn, you've had to be too responsible too early. So now your yellow wants to have more, you know, more creative, more fun, whatever. But you understand that, that kind of that rebellious nature of you, that stubborn streak that like, don't tell me what to do. So it's in there. I got the yellow. So, um, and by the way, yellows, Yellows are natural healers. So typically yellows don't look their age. They don't feel their age. And it's very common for you yellows to feel like you haven't even gotten started yet. Okay. It's like, yeah, whatever. Okay. Now, um, both of you guys have blue in your aura. Blues are in the spiritual emotional family. And um, Erica, her blue is still intact. Lynn, you're over the blue stuff. You want to move into that violet. So blues are our natural mothers. OK, they are they they are nurturers. They come from the heart chakra. They're givers. They're givers. I wish you could see you guys own aura. This is so fun because Lynn, I go, man, that blue is like I've done enough of the blue. I want to do the violet now. So blues are nurturers, caretakers. Typically, blues are teachers, counselors, nurses. Blues are very emotional. Blues can watch commercials and tear up. They, they cry when they're happy, when they're sad, when they're angry for no reason at all. Um, by the way, yellows usually laugh at everything. Yellows are the perennial Peter Pans and cheerful cheerleaders. They want everyone to be happy and yellows want to have fun, right? But you got other colors that won't always let you have fun. So blues are emotional, nurture, spiritual, 
All blues knew there was a higher power when they were little, whether they saw and spoke to angels or God or Jesus or whatever it was. Blues have always had this spiritual side to them. So blues are givers, they're nurturers. Um, Blues, believe it or not, blues and violets and indigos are the three most intuitive and psychic of all the aura colors. Blues just feel things. They don't know why they feel it. They just sense it. They know things. Um, So anyway, blues in power are very intuitive. They're very loving. They're very giving. They're very charitable. I mean, I tune into Eric and I just go, see, blues give everybody 99 second chances. They just want to see the good in people and love them no matter what. And blues will, blues will hang out with people that other people don't want to be with. Okay. No, no violets, but blues, blues are just very nurturing and emotional out of power. um, Not that you guys do this. Whoa, Lynn, you've had this in the past, in the past. Again, you're shifting into that violet. Blues, we blues out of power because I'm a blue too. We can get into victimhood, martyrdom, and self-pity. Look what happened to me, blah, blah, blah. But a blues priority is love and relationships. Blues, number one priority is love and relationships and spirituality. So blues want to be in a relationship. Lynn, not so much yellows and violets, okay? Yellows and violets like their freedom, all right? So anyway, does that make sense about the blue? You recognize some of that, Erica? Okay, now both of you guys have violet in your aura. Um, Lynn, you're developing more of the violet, although I'm looking at you as a youngster and you had a lot of violet around you when you were younger. You just went into that blue mode of marriage, mother, you know, that whole bit. That's the blue, but the violet's kicking up now. So violets are visionaries. They come from the third eye chakra. Violets want to help the masses. Blues are one-on-one, yellows are one-on-one and family. Violets feel like they've got a big mission here to improve the quality of life for people, to expand the consciousness, to lead things further. So violets are more visionaries. Um, they, they either get involved in the arts or the media. So they see, I see them on television, radio, writing, producing, art, music, dance. It's like it's media to be able to affect the masses because all you violets have a message for people. You have a message. Not that Lynn knows everything about what that is yet, but she's getting there because the thing about you violets is violets have so many projects. You see how fast I'm talking? Yeah. That's because you guys both have violet in your aura. There's no way I could talk this fast with the other aura colors. You're the opposite of a tan. Tans, and all the colors are good, remember, but tans do this. Tans are very logical, practical, analytical. Lynn, you had to do that for a while. It's like, that doesn't suit you. Do you understand? So tans will go logic, practicality, security, stability, step one, step two, step three, right? They're usually computer programmers, engineers, accountants, you know, things very detailed. Well, they'll go one to 10, one to 10, one to 10 their whole lives. Violets go 150. It's <laughs> something bigger. I know there's something big I'm supposed to do. And, and usually violets want to do projects. And usually you violets don't want to work for other people. Violets want to do their own thing. They want the freedom to do what they believe in. So violets either get involved in the arts or the media or something creative, or they get involved in teaching or psychology all right, or ministry, it's something about helping the masses. Violets want to educate, inspire, and empower. Or violets get involved in causes, like, oh, those poor starving children or those poor people that got, you know, the tsunami wiped them out. Violets are, violets, by the way, are very global. Blues are very home. Violets are global humanitarians or cosmic. They Do you understand? They want to reach the masses. So when violets are in power, you guys are visionaries. You see things, <laughs> and Lynn, you don't understand why other people don't see what you see, okay? Violets see so far, and they go, why can't people see this? It's common sense. And most people can't see that far. So they go to violets and go, Whoa, what are you talking about? And then violets can get, if, if they don't support their own dream and their own vision, um, then violets can get scattered, Lynn. Okay. Um, Violets, there's like 20 things they want to do or they don't know which way to go next. Okay. Do you see how Lynn's Violet is really starting to kick up now? So it's like all these projects, I don't know which way to go next. Because then Violet's out of power can get really scattered. Do you understand? So many things they want to do that you guys can get scattered and then it might not always show up. You know, just right. Yeah. So, and then you have to watch out for the yellow because yellow's out of power can procrastinate. Okay, yellow thing, great, all these great ideas, and then they don't get on with it. Procrastination always stems from fear, right? It's like, well, how do I, because violets get accused 
of being unrealistic dreamers. Okay. So um, Erica, well, Erica, you're pretty much, you're kind of intact with this blue violet. Um, Erica, um, Lynn is just like, pop, pop, pop. I mean, seriously, Lynn, it's like so many projects you want to do in this lifetime. So this is number one, what violets have to do to be in power. And by the way, violets can also get when they're out of power, violets can also get impatient, frustrated with humanity, frustrated with people not getting on with it, even if it's the kids, come on, <laughs> right? It's like violets can get impatient, frustrated, dictatorial, bossy, impatient, holier than thou when they're out of power. Not all violets, okay? Especially blues and yellows don't usually do that. They're much more loving and kind and like, oh, stop picking on people, right? But when violets are out of power, the number one thing that violets have to do, number one is meditation, they have to find some form of quiet time, okay? Because violets can get too scattered and too busy. So violets have to have alone time. I don't mean you have to sit in a corner and home because usually, by the way, Lynn, yellows can't sit still long enough to meditate. Their minds keep going, okay? So, but violets have to have quiet time, alone time. So they get their vision connected with their heart and soul and connected with something greater, than you. And then you feel guided, then you get visions, then you have a sense of which way to go. So that's number one for violets, they have to usually yellows do their meditation if they're out in nature, or if there's movement. Okay, that's a form of meditation for that. Violets also affected by music. Typically, they want to travel, even though blues are homebody and yellows just like nature and earth, and I don't want to go anywhere. But violets typically are like, oh, Europe or other countries or Machu Picchu, or, you know, they, they have this global sense. So, is this all making sense to you guys? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes this totally it is. is. It's so on, and I'm sure anyone who knows us. Let me say one more thing real quick about Erica. Erica, you've got blue and violet in your aura. That is not a common combination. That's actually a soul doing two lifetimes at once. Oh. So usually what the blue wants to do first is have relationship, have a family, have a home, you know, nurture people, maybe get into counseling or whatever, right? Then when the violet kicks in, the vi which is what's happening with Lynn now, when the violet kicks in, it's like, I need to reach more people. Violets cannot be stay-at-home, sit-at-home housewives and mommies. They have to do projects. They have to be able to make a difference out there. So it can be in conflict sometimes where the blue goes, no, I need to be here with my friends and my family and my loved ones and my children. I have to be there for them and have a home. And violets are like, but but, but there's something big I need to do. There's something big I need to do. So you just need to keep that in balance, right? So that all sides win. So with Lynch, her yellow needs to be happy or blue needs to be happy and the violet needs to be happy, okay? So um, is this all making sense? Yes, yeah. Uh, it's so making sense. Mm -hmm. and, and relationships really quick. Yes, quickly, yes. blues <laughs> love relationships. They love love. Matter of fact, they love love so much they can be doormats or put up with people that they probably shouldn't. Lynn, do you understand? Like we'll stay. We're very mon moral, monogamous, committed. Blues have the Cinderella complex, so they feel like when they get married, it's supposed to be forever, ever, ever. Yellows like their freedom. So yellows want someone they can have fun with and they can have a fear of commitment. So it's like when a yellow's not happy, it's like, bye bye, I'm out of here. Okay. And violets, you guys, this is really important, especially Lynn. Violets need an equal. They need someone they can communicate with that lives their same dream and their same vision and flies with them. Violets are like hawks and eagles. They need to respect their partner and they need to be respected. Um, we're in a violet. Violets are way up right now. Violet is the power female. It's the power feminine, the visionary. So it's the goddess Diana. She understands like it's the power female. So they either need to be with a partner that really either supports their dream and vision so that because violets are more independent, they have to do their projects. So they either need to be with someone who supports that and not in a boring way because violets can get bored with their partners. They can outgrow them, okay, or frustrated with them. Or they need to be with someone that flies with them and goes, what about this? Yeah, what about this? Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. Do you understand? So it, they're kind of like hawks and eagles. They need to fly together. They need to respect their partners. Do you understand? They have equals. Well, that can be challenging, Lynn, to, for a violet to find an equal because violet women, not blues, not yellows, violet women especially can intimidate partners. They're so dynamic and so visionary and so speak their truth that you need to be with partners that really are not intimidated by you being real and doing your projects. Does that make sense? Yeah. Wow, yes. that's just, yeah, that is so right on. And um, 
it's so supportive what you're doing to help people mm -hmm. to give them that freedom and to give them that awareness of what they already know like because when you're saying this obviously i i'm i it's so true and the blue i've been a doormat i hang with the people like you said that nobody else would but um you know, I found greatness, but I see where that procrastination of the yellow and the fun is definitely huge. Yeah. Like, if it's not fun after a certain period, like, I got to escape. Yeah. Oh, girls have to have fun and freedom or it's like they get they can get depressed. And violets have to feel like they're making a difference here or they can get depressed. Yeah. Okay. Violets have to feel like they're contributing. I was a flower farmer, so that's so funny because I was so in nature. And as I've moved here, I'm still trying to find my nature mm -hmm. in the way that I had it back east. That's part of you keeping balance. That's a, nature is a form of meditation for you. Okay, <laughs> that's how you connect with your soul. So that's important for yellows. So yellows, when they're out of power, they procrastinate, they can get lazy, they can get fearful. They're the number one most addictive personalities on the planet. If yellows aren't happy, they go into addictions, drugs, alcohol, cigarettes, caffeine, chocolate or sweets, overeating. Okay, yellows get into addictions. When to, that's They only do that when they're not happy though, and they don't know how to fix it. So um, yellows can run away from issues they can avoid that, you know, they can procrastinate. So to get in power, number one on a yellows list to get balanced, number one is exercise. Yellows have got to do some form of movement exercise, whether it's walking in nature, dance, yoga, something, otherwise they can get, uh, you know, and then they end up with back, knee and leg problems. Okay. That's a yellow's weak spot. Um, the second thing they got to do is connect with nature. Okay. So exercise nature and then staying away from the, the addictions, which is hard for yellows to do if they're not happy, but when in their in power, they're addicted to healthy things, you know, um, exercise, f good foods, because yellows know how to stay healthy and live longer because they know all that stuff. And what's vital for yellows is keeping a sense of humor because violets can get very serious and yellows need to play. They need to laugh and blues can get very emotionally deep. Okay. Mm -hmm. But so yellows, if they keep that sense of humor, then they come up with creative ideas, they stay in balance and then they, they, they can create things. Mm -hmm. And do you see how, I mean, some of the different aura colors like greens are, are workaholics, type a personalities, business, CEOs, sales, um, right lists. It, Lynn's tried to do the list thing too, but violets and yellows don't always like lists. Okay. So you can start with the list and then it gets scattered or, eh, but greens are list makers. They're, they're, they're workaholics. They're the type A business people. So it, can you imagine a green who wants to make money and accomplish and achieve things with a yellow who just wants to go play and have fun and be play, you know, happy and cheer everybody up. It's like, Oh, we're going to have some challenges here unless they learn how to work together because then yellows can come up with creative of ideas or healers and the greens can figure out ways to make money at it. I was going to say, how, what about greens and violets? <laughs> and violets, greens don't usually like violets. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, because greens feel like they're the smartest people. And remember all the colors are good. Greens yeah. are the ones that create businesses and jobs for people, right? Or sales. So Greens go one, two, I got it 10. Violets go 150. Greens are like, well, that's an unrealistic dream. How are you going to do that? You know, you can't make money doing that. You don't have training and education for that. Blah, 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 blah. And they'll start arguing. So if then if the violet goes, oh, God, yeah, and then gets pulled back here, the green will step on them. And then violet goes, well, then what am I going to do? And then yeah. violets get scattered or they get depressed because they don't feel like they've got their life purpose. So in power... When the violet goes 150 and the green goes, how are you going to do that? Because the number one thing I get from a green is how. How are you going to do that? What's the plan? Because greens like order, efficiency. They like plans. They like business, you know, making money at it. So when the green goes, how are you going to do that? The violet in power goes, you know what? I don't know how yet, but that's what I see. That's my vision. That's what my soul's calling me to do. So green, you better figure out how to help me make money at that or how to get there instead of telling me I can't. So violets are like the, the business creators, the visionaries, and greens are like the managers and the CEOs. They're the ones that can run the business or help them come up with the plan on how to get there. So greens have their value. It's just out of power. Ooh, greens are argumentative and stubborn and you cannot win an argument with the green because they always like to be right. So ah, they have to learn how to work together. 
-hmm. But greens are movers and shakers. You want something done, you hire a green to get that done, it'll get done. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like I'm dating a green. So that's why <laughs> I was just curious how those kind of mix together because definitely everything you're saying is what I hear. But um, we, from the beginning, I've always said like we are, you know, like this, but you know, there's times where it's, you know, we're not equal. So I think hearing it again and realizing Violets, violets and reds are the only two color that can handle the power of a green. Okay. And he's probably not a straight green. That's probably another color. Blues and greens can have some challenges because blues are much more emotional and nurturing and they want to talk about feelings and they want to connect emotionally. And greens are usually more busy with work and in their heads and accomplishing things. So violets can handle that because violets are more independent. Mm -hmm. So as long as they respect their partner and they feel respected and they can communicate, that's fine with the green. But matter of fact, violets can get bored with people that aren't motivated and inspired and, you know, I mean, I, I doing something amazing. So violets, <clears throat> green's one of the only colors that violets don't get bored with and other violets, right? But blues, understand the emotional bonding, okay? Because mm -hmm. blues need to feel a connection, a trust, an emotional bonding, an emotional connection. And greens don't always know how to go there. So he's probably not just a straight green. Yeah, yeah. He's green and yellow, he might be, you know, which is compatible with a blue. Blues and yellows are both nice people. Mm -hmm. Okay, and caring and they want to help people. Um, blues and greens, <laughs> you understand? If he's got another color, we're fine. But greens, you go to a restaurant with a green. If the green's not happy with the meal, they will send it back and they won't even be nice about it. Okay, and the blues are like, I can't believe you talk to them like that. Oh my gosh, stop. You're being mean. And green's like, hey, they got to do their job. Come on, you know? It, it's, if it's not right, I paid for that. They need to do it right. <laughs> Yes, I believe it. And it's so funny that we do. We like try to make people different or like we're in a more of a green world, I would say, kind of with people just trying to get all this done. And so um, it's cool to hear your perspective on the colors and p how people can work together because it is about working together. It's not about com competition or who's right or who's wrong or who does it better. It's just let's get it done in a peaceful, loving way and help each other do it the best way they can. Now she's used violet words and blue words. Violets talk about unity and the global coming together and peace and harmony. That's a violet's mission here. Okay. And expanding the consciousness, but peace and harmony, right? Violets talk about love and understanding <laughs> and nurturing and giving. It's like, so she uses, violets talk about what they see. Please yeah. talk about how they feel. Okay, so cool. That is, and I think it's really helpful. Um, I'm sure if you have partners in business or just let your, you know, romances, because when you know something, it makes it so much easier to apply and to look for those gifts and call each other out and go, it's not Lynn and someone, it's yellow and blue. And when you can step back that little bit, um, you know, man, women are different and you can say this is a man, woman thing or a blue, yellow thing versus me and somebody, my partner. Yeah. You can start to make changes and shifts. And like you said, there are colors. I'm sure I know that don't jive with me and I don't jive with them. <laughs> and yep. you know that in the minute, like I don't see colors, but I sense and feel. <laughs> yeah. They're very kinesthetic. Yeah. Yellows feel it in their bodies. So they can walk into a room and go, oh, it feels good in here. Oh, what's happening? This doesn't feel good. Something feels bad here. So that's a yellow. Blues feel it in their hearts, their emotions, their intuition, knowingness. And violets see things. They're visionaries. And if violets pay attention to it in waking state, they, they get downloads. They get information. Otherwise, violets get it in their dreams. They're the number one color that does dreams and does dream work. So they'll get messages from their higher self in their dreams. Sweet. Awesome. Well, this is so exciting. <laughs> I'm a painter, so um, I'm an, yeah, I'm an artist. So, and then we also sell Kangen water, which is like a huge sustainable product that you can have in your home. So we are doing the global, helping the global health, the global plastic problem. And then <laughs> with my art too, I feel as if that is a service to get people out of their heads and more yeah. into their yep. creativity. You're, you're, and that's their your violet. That's yeah. your violet side, the creative part that wants to affect the masses and improve the quality of life here. That's yeah. a violet and they're more global. Mm -hmm.